All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Father Faces Backlash for Disciplining His Daughter. All right. Father faces backlash for disciplining his daughter. Now I got inspired to do this lesson because of this video right here. And this video is pretty short. It's only six seconds. And uh, within this video, you see this little girl right here. Looks like she's no older than probably eight, nine or ten years old. Not even a teenager yet. All right. And she's in this video. She's twerking. And pretty much her father comes and see it. And her father disciplines her by by popping her upside the head. All right, he ain't still off her, <laughs> you know. He ain't ball up his fist and rock ass or nothing like that. He just went over there, saw what she was doing, and he hit her. You know, he popped her upside the head like a parent should be doing. All right, and uh, as we all understand, this society is set up for things like this because uh, first of all, Esau is giving women liberty. Esau is giving them the um understanding that they can be with whoever they want to be they can do whatever they want to do they are put in positions over men and they can pretty much have this type of behavior and you're supposed to look at them as if nothing is wrong with them they're not doing anything wrong all right they're just supposed to be looked at as pure women that's why when they get married they put on that white dress because that's supposed to represent purity but just like martin lawrence said in uh his uh run tell that stand up he was like, man, he, he was like, man, a lot of y'all know y'all ain't supposed to be wearing no white. He was like, a lot of y'all need to be wearing <laughs> these sneaky salmon. <laughs> uh, 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 and some, a whole bunch of other colors and everything like that. I forget what he said, but and he telling the truth because pretty much, as we all know, the majority of these women, you know, they're foul. Pretty, you know, just get to the point, they're foul. And the way that their behavior is these days is just, it's getting out of order. And it's getting to the point where literally children are watching these music videos. They're watching these movies. They're looking at these certain these cartoons or whatever. And this is what's presented in front of them. What's presented in front of them is whoredom. That's exactly what's presented in front of them. They can go out and, you know, wear these, these skimpy outfits and everything like that. And... You know, they look at it as if it's cool because this is what's pushed here in America, all right? And as you can see with this caption right here, it says, Father faces blacklash for popping his daughter while she was twerking, all right? I don't know if they did that on purpose, but within the comments from this video, this video was on Twitter. This is where I got it from. And definitely the comments on this video, you know, were from the majority of women. A lot of women were like, he was wrong for doing that. And that's the thing, this society has definitely gone backwards because, like I said, when I was growing up, if you were a child and you misbehaved, you got your ass whooped. That's just what it was. You got whoopings with belts, switches, <laughs> with, 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 your, with, your, with, with, a, with a hand, whatever, all right? You got discipline and you had to do that so then that way you could grow and understand that, look, I, I can't be doing this no more because if I don't, if I keep continue to do this, this is what's going to happen to me. And you learn from it. All right. Because ultimately, this is a, a way of fear. So then you can honor your parents. And that's what the most I said do. He said, honor your mother and your father. Right. And then the scriptures also tell you that you're supposed to discipline your children. But now we live in a society where Esau has pushed this agenda where if you discipline your children, you can ultimately almost go to jail for doing that. And that's completely off. That's going backwards. All right. That's backwards. That's why a lot of children are out of order because children are now over the parents. Children can literally say what they want to say to their parents. It's, it's, it's videos out there with children smacking their parents and parents aren't doing anything. And they showed that in that movie with um Marlon Wayans. He did a movie. Uh, I forget what movie he was in, but he brought that out where he was like, look, we're modern day parents. He was like, we don't believe in disciplining our children by hitting them and everything like that. And his father or his parents within that movie was like, no, you need to whoop their ass. That's the only way they're going to learn. All right. So let's go ahead and play this video. Like I said, it's only six seconds. We'll play it a few times and then we'll grab the scriptures. So, 
as you saw, little girl over here, you know, twerking and everything like that. And he ain't even hit her upside the head. He just hit her. All right. And it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't a hit where, you know, she got injured or damaged or something like that. It was just a pop to let you know, like, hey, man, stop doing that. All right. Because like I said earlier, you have to honor your mother, and your father. And ultimately, this is the way that children learn is it's if you discipline them. And like I said, the most high, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, told us this is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. All right. So let's get into the scriptures. Let's get um start off with this. Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. All right. This is how you learn. This is how the majority of us learn, especially, like I said, if you were a child in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, maybe early 2000s, you already know how it went. If you did something and you went off, you got discipline. And then, you know, you learn from that situation and then your parents will teach you why they did that and they'll teach you the correct way to do things. All right. And this is why the majority of us now, when we got older, what happened? We understood why they did that to us. And now the majority of us are in good places. Now we can actually, now we, if we have children, you know, a lot of us do, you know, um, we, if we have children and everything like that, now we can show them because we've been brought up correctly. Like I said, this society is completely backward, backwards. That's why the majority of these kids out here now, when they have children, they just let them loose and you see it. You see it, man. Like I said, especially because, you know, the you know, especially when it comes to Jake and, you know, the the, uh, the the Southern Kingdom women. All right. When it comes to them, the majority of them are growing up, are growing up in single mom homes. All right. And you already know how Eve acts out here, man. She's foul and out of line. All right. But like it says right here, it says train up a child in the way he should go. And when he was old, he would not depart from it. He would not forget what you taught him if you train him up correctly okay let's go to the book of Sirach. hold on let me go let me go up we're gonna go to the book of Sirach, and uh we're gonna get 30 chapter 30 all right and then we're gonna start at verse 9 let's go down and it says right here it says cocker thy child and he shall make thee afraid play with him and he will bring thee to heaviness, all right? Heaviness, sorrow in the heart. You'll look at your child and be disappointed. And you'll always be stressed out because you conquered your child. Now, what does that mean? You look, I looked this up, right? I looked up the verb meaning. It says, to coddle, pamper, all right? When you always give in to your child and give them everything they want all the damn time, eventually, your children are going to take advantage of your kindness, they're going to take advantage of your quote-unquote love. And then the next thing you know, they're going to get out of order. That's why it says right here, going back, it says, Conquer thy, ch thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. All right? So, it's nothing wrong with a parent, you know, giving to their child when they're doing right. And, you know, uh, and making them feel good about certain things when they're doing right. But if you continue to do that when they're not doing right, your child is going to grow to be stubborn. Your child is going to grow to be out of order. Next thing you know, you're going to be in a bad place. And you don't want that. All right. Verse 10, it says, laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Super upset. <laughs> Gnashing teeth. You get so mad, you're like, I can't stand this kid. And that's the majority of parents now. That's why you always hear these badass kids that, and these badass kids this, right? Because even these kids are out of order. That's why there's a law where it tells you if a, uh, if a, ch if a child does not listen to you and he continues to be stubborn and gluttonous and lazy and all of these things, he's actually, in the long run, supposed to be put to death. The most I ain't playing. The most I like, look, you're you not bringing nothing to the table. You're not even honoring your mother and your father and you out here just being lazy and being a nobody? Get rid of him, man. That's how serious it is. But like I said, Esau doesn't go by the laws of the Bibles. And look what ha has happened in the world. Verse 11, it says, Give him no liberty in his youth and wink not at his folly. See? You're not supposed to turn the other cheek 
when you see your kids doing something that's out of order. When you see them do something that's out of order, you go to them, you speak to them, and then if they get too much out of line, what the scripture say right here in verse 12? Bow down his neck while he is young, and what does it say? Beat him, and beat him on his sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thine heart. See? It said, beat him on the sides. <laughs> Giving a whooping. Whoop his ass. This is in the scriptures. Beat him, man. This is a thing, like I said, that Esau does not push. This was pushed when I was growing up. Like I said, when you get when you did something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You did school, you got bad report cards, you didn't clean up the house, whatever the case may be. Man, your parents is like, all right, well, go upstairs. I'll meet you in a little bit. That was the worst feeling ever. <laughs> You just waiting, knowing that you about to get your ass whooped. Then there was certain parents where, you know, if you did bad in school and everything, you know the parents that will show up and actually give you whoopings in front of the class. That's embarrassing. But guess what? You didn't want to go through that again, did you? You was like, I will never get my ass whooped in front of my friends ever again. I'm going to make sure I get these A's, B's, and C's on these report cards and pass. Right? Nowadays, like I said, it's completely different. This is why the scriptures say, bow down his neck. Just imagine it. Just like, you know, my mother gets her child, put her over her lap, grab her by the neck, bow down his neck. She got the belt in the other hand and beat him. It's the only way that they'll learn. But this world doesn't push that. Now, people always say they believe in God, right? They believe in uh, everything that he says. They believe in a higher power. Whether this is what the higher power said, do if they get out of order. Look what he did. Ain't this what he did? And he didn't even bow down her neck and beat her. He just did a little pop. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. And now this video is going viral. And that's another thing. This, this whack ass social media. Okay. Because everybody can type their opinions and everything like that. And, and, and get away with it. Everybody typing their opinions. And everybody like, yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. He literally saw her, his daughter getting out of order. You 10 years old and you over here acting like a grown stripper, man, or one of these hoes that's out in the street. He like, hey, man, stop doing that shit. He was right for doing that. He was right. And you see, you kind, you kind of can see like how she looked at him when he did that. You can see that fear come upon her a little bit. Like, oh, shit, I didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah, that was supposed to happen. You're not supposed to be doing that. All right, but like I said, this is this is what happens when this is set up in society right here, because this is this is another hand that Esau put in. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter thirty-one. We're gonna go to verse twenty-two. It says, "How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man." And like I said, the majority of those comments were coming from women. Saying, saying like, oh no, she she's not supposed to be getting hit like that and so forth and so on. And the reason they saying that is because they're the ones that's over us and they're the ones that's pretty much over everything other than Esau. <laughs> All right. They can go out there and live whatever type of way they want and they're supposed to be accepted. If they want to go and twerk and flash their bodies and do these different things, you're just supposed to let them be. They say you're supposed to have your whole days while you young. When you young, you're supposed to go out there. You can sleep with as many men as you want. You can be the, the greatest thought on earth. But as soon as they turn turn like 35, 40 years old, and they ready to settle down, now it's time to be like, you know what? Nope, can't be doing that no more. When you all used up, <laughs> it's completely backwards, man. But this is what happens. This is what happens when there's no man in the household. And that's that's that was a lot of um comments in the video. There's like there's no fathers, man. And like I said, Esau did that on purpose, especially to the Israelite uh, man. That's why you have single women among the majority of Israelites, especially the Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the so-called black woman and black man. All right, you see that a lot. You see a lot of single women out here taking care of their children by themselves. All right, and then another reason why they do that is because women will get more money. 
and they'll get more <laughs> quote unquote treats from the government if the man is not in the house. So a lot of these, we, these women take advantage of that situation. But as we all know, the most High is showing us this because change is getting ready to come. All right. The most High is getting ready to make sure that complete order is coming back. All right. This is not going to be going down when the Lord returns. Let's get Isaiah chapter 46. We're going to get Isaiah 46 and uh, we're going to go to verse eight. Cause he was right all right this is chapter uh this is isaiah 46 and 8 it says remember this and show yourselves men bring it again to mind O you transgressors remember the former things of old for i am the most high yahweh and there is none else i am the most high the power and there is none else like me all right he says remember this and show yourselves men that's exactly what he did with his daughter he remembered that he's the father of the house all right he was being a man. He went over there and did what he was supposed to do. And it says, remember the former things of old. The former things of old is one of those scriptures we just read earlier. And now you can now you can legit say that in this society. Disciplining your children is a thing of old. <laughs> All right. Because nobody is really doing that no more. Boy, it says, remember the former things of old, for I am the most high, and there is none else. I am the most high, and there is none else like me. Now, of course, when you read this um, scripture, it goes back, it's just, you know, it's really speaking about, you know, remember who we are as Israelites, following the commandments, statutes, and laws, all right, and standing up as a real man for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But you could just use this scripture for this sense as well, okay? So at the end of the day, this is exactly what we need to be doing. All right, these children are out of order. You and yeah, you have to put them in their place. All right, let's get um, let's go back to the book of Sirach. Then we gonna go to verse. We gonna go to chapter four. Then we gonna go to verse twenty-eight. And it says, "Strive for the truth unto death, and Lord shall fight for thee. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack and remiss." Here's the point I want to bring out. It says, be not as a lion in thy house, nor phrenic among thy servants. All right. Because um, you come into this truth as a man. When you do show yourself as a man, you, you are supposed to stand up and represent yourself the correct way. But, you know, a lot of men would come into this truth and then they'll realize that women supposed to be under them. You're supposed to be bringing up your child a certain way. Certain dudes will literally go out here. And start smacking around their their uh their women and everything like that and then they could probably do that to their children as well you're not supposed to be as a lion in the house when a lion is in the house and there's nobody to uh nobody there to put it down that lion is gonna go crazy all right so when you come in you know when you come across things like this and we say yeah discipline your child don't be going out there literally you know just beating them man <laughs> all right and that's why it's a certain way to do things you know how it was when you was growing up you got a whooping they did it to a certain extent they did it to the point where they made sure you felt the pain but they didn't make sure that they didn't put your ass in a wheelchair all right so be not as a lion in thy house nor frantic among thy servants all right you got to make sure you do things in order make sure you do things correctly now let's go uh, stay in this book and uh, we don't stay. We don't get one last scripture. We don't go to verse 26. We ain't got to make this too long. I mean, not verse 26, chapter 26. Then we don't go to verse 10. It says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. All right. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Okay. So you got to look out and see what's going on with your daughters and if they getting out of line you got to keep them in straightly meaning you got to lock down on them why because like i said now the scriptures saying women are the weaker vessel and as a as a as a young woman you know and as a young girl you definitely have to keep eye over them you got to make sure that they understand that they're supposed to be brought up a certain way okay you got to make sure that look you're supposed to tell them like no you're supposed to be doing this you're supposed to be acting like that there is no okay you could do a little bit of that and then listen to me 
like 80 to or 70 percent no 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 it says thy daughter be shameless keep her in straightly okay you're supposed to lock down on your daughters lest she abuse herself through over much liberty and like i said that's exactly what they have and a lot of these parents give their children all kind of liberty all right they let them be who they want to be literally there's parents out here that say Go out here and make all the mistakes, you know, make make the mistakes, have fun, do you do stupid things. And when you're like, nah, man, that ain't how you're supposed to be training your, your child to, uh, how to come up, telling them to go make mistakes, go do, do this, go do that. No, you're supposed to teach them immediately. All right. That's why, you know, um, this world is completely backwards because they, you know, that's another example of what they do. Just like when you used to grow up and you were in a world, they'll tell you for the longest. Yeah, Santa Claus is real. Santa Claus is real. And then there's a lot of people that would keep pushing that their whole life. And then, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, then they, you get older and you realize, oh, that was just a lie and shit like that. You know, that's just an example. All right. They'll tell you certain things, you know, instead of just telling you the truth. Like, actually, no, Christmas is not about, you know, uh, Santa Claus and everything like that. They'll tell, then they'll tell you that Christmas is about Jesus. That's his birthday. But that's a lie. That's a lie. You're supposed to be telling them the truth from the get-go. You're not supposed to be like, yeah, you know, we're going to celebrate this holiday just because or do this just because or I'm going to do this just because this is what I believe in and I'm not trying to mix in other people's beliefs within what I'm just trying to do. No, 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 no. Supposed to go out the correct way, man. So you got to train up your child in the way that they're supposed to be brought up, man. And within this situation right here, like it says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, man. Straightly. And that's exactly what he did. So, of course, like I said, you can go on Twitter, you know, type this in. It'll pop up. And, you know, you're going to see a lot of comments where people are going to be like, no, he did the right thing. But you definitely going to see the comments where there was like, no, he was wrong. <laughs> but he wasn't. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. She's not supposed to be doing that, man. And like I said, this comes from probably her <laughs> getting on the phone or getting on the internet or a computer or looking at TV. She's looking at videos of Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Meg The Stallion, Sexy Red, all of these stupid hoes that's out here, man. <laughs> looking at them do all of this shit. And not even just the famous women. Well, you literally, as soon as you go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, this is the first thing that's really pushed in your face are, are these women being out of order, no clothes on, twerking. This is what you see immediately because Esau knows that sex is very powerful. So this is one of the first things that you see when you go on social media. And so they go on social media. She probably went on social media. She saw that, you know, she was getting all the likes. She thought it was cool. And now she doing it. Her father like, nah, that ain't cool. And it's not cool. So he did the right thing, man. All right. So like I said, I'm going to stop right there. Just wanted to bring that point out. Because like I said, you know, when you see things like this, you, you know, you just be like, man, we ready for change. You know, we ready for actual order. We ready for things to stop being out of whack. Because this shit is getting out of hand, man. All right. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm gonna say call Halayim Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones to learn this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.